Good afternoon, the Mackham Cabby here. It work as usual on a very sunny and minus one in Carlisle on Wednesday the 17th of January. And I just want to say a big happy birthday to my daughter Summer who is 14 today. So enjoy your birthday sweetheart and we'll see you later on. And I'm going to pinch some birthday cake off you. Well, I'm just going to be uh, having a big crack on about the Ahmad Diallo um, carry on that the fact like he's replied on social media um, literally just quashing rumours to say there's no way I'm going to go to Middlesbrough if it was to go back to a championship club it would be Sunderland and even the Sunderland Echo has um, confirmed that, that that is the case I thought it was fake but it, apparently it is him doing that it is Ahmad Diallo saying that So, should we do and pull all the stops if Amat is not away in a Premier League club, should we pull out all the stops to get Amat back at Sunderland till the end of the season? And who knows, possibly another season long loan next season. Now, if there's anything that would give the fans a lift, would be getting Ahmad Diallo back. Now apparently he's been posting pictures of him with his son on top on. Like it's an older picture but he's put it on his social media. So can we get carried away? Would you like to see him back? What a silly question of course we would. What would Ahmad Diallo bring to the current squad? Can you imagine? Russian playing along, Russian playing alongside him, um, or Sheesh, it could just open up a can of worms of options. I mean, I know Patrick Roberts is injured at the minute, but when Diallo was um, playing, when he had Roberts to the right and Clark back to the left and stuff, they, they, they were they were just brilliant. They, they were like playing their own mini football match. It was like the little one twos, the moves, the movements they did. The, the defenses couldn't handle us. We had too many options because at the minute it's just Clark cutting in, Clark cutting in, Clark cutting in, which works now and again. Didn't it get me wrong? And he scored some cracking goals. But when you've got like Clark in the middle and the the, the two class wingers on the right, and then if he's got like I don't know, Rooster or someone to work with him. It could be absolutely lethal, couldn't it? Um, so come on, KLD or Speakman, whatever. If he's not linked off, he's not gone to a Premier League club, then I think Sunderland should do all they can to get Diallo back for, for the uh, to, to the end of the season. Um, and I just think if there's one way to redeem yourself, is you do that, bring him back in. And uh, he loves the club. I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, 40, 48,000 fans were screaming his name and, you know, the goals he was scoring week in, week out. You know what I mean? The, the, the fans made him like he was one of our own, you know, and that's how it's made him felt. And the, if you can, just kill Day or Speakman, do all you can to bring him back to the stadium. Like some people would say, bring him back home. Because we, we so much need that. Um, we just looked such a different unit with him um, up front and stuff. And the goals he scored just out of nowhere. Like, um, he was he was crowded around players, wasn't he? And he would just, a little tiny touch, and he'd just get that millimetre of the goal or the top bins or the bottom corner. Bang, and he's ripped it in. I mean, how many goals he scored? Like, I mean, I remember one that stands out, I think, was a Birmingham away. And Coventry away, where he just gets a little sniff of it, thank you very much. And it, it's like he lays a pinpoint guy of precision, bang, and he picks his spot and scores. And the fans just loved him for him. Not just that, his work rate as well, his attitude was was just second to none. So come on, Speakman, KLD, 
whatever it is you want to redeem yourselves get them back to this club for the remainder of the season because the fans need a lift so come on get on with it right i'm gonna go and get a cup of tea now because it's yep still minus one and i'll have a look outside and show you around not a cloud in the sky see you later guys